So, you can take a relaxed position. And then we will go on a little guided meditation. And close your eyes if you would like. vibrations be lowered by the vibration of the drum let the sound of the drum carry you to the harmonic vibration harmonic cosmos systems within your own being, how every impulse from your senses is filtered and ordered, how every thought and memory is labeled according to relevance and importance. position and social content are also ordered with all the power and control in the higher center. centers, looking blindly for guidance, and how out of the hunger for guidance, hunger for meaning, you open up to the harmonic cosmos, which is always ready to control you to guide you, to protect you. And feel your energy body becoming more firm, more calm, more ordered. spirit to come to each of us so it can guide us and structure us and try to feel this new guide as it takes its place above your head
problems. You notice that if your strength is too much or your problems are too complex, the spirit will be replaced by a spirit from a higher order. But in the same way, by your own power and complexity, you are finding your place. body grows because you are aware of everything below you. When you move down in this cosmos, your energetic body shrinks to fewer beings, smaller territories. And experiment a little bit, moving yourself up and down in this cosmos. your consciousness to a point where you're responsible only for yourself and your body and feel what a simple being you are how little is needed to take care of yourself yourself expand slowly but surely to the fullness of your abilities and feel the myriad of beings which you can touch with your light with your guidance is growing steadily top of a pyramid, with your light flowing down, all the way to the individual level. flow to them, as if you're the director of a choir, all voices rise and fall. to find harmony in the song. Try to make your guidance one with the desire of those who wish to be guided. Become one with your student, with your patient.
feel also how their needs, their desires, make you want to grow and develop yourself to meet their demand on their growth. They are moving upward and also pushing you upward. Unless they leave you behind. To complete the cycle of your guidance and their questions. and quality, their mass, their quantity. And how they slowly merge into a perfect union between leader and follower. Slowly try to move away again from this cosmos. This cosmos in which we are identified. And we are both fed and helped by those we inspire and lead. But we are also trapped by them. So it is unclear who is actually the real leader and who is the servant, who is the slave. So, so the leader is never free. Remember yourself as a free spirit, as a free being. Stop identifying with all your light, with all your power, with all your talent. Remove yourself from this grid, the Arimanic cosmos. this space again. a little bit. I 
Sam used to it. That's <laughs> 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 something you don't like. Uh, uh, but sometimes I have to use it. Yes, we all do. So, <laughs> We should switch uh, between all four uh, for uh, cosmos. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, we will. Depending on uh, yeah, which people we are, we are uh, meeting and what what yes. <laughs> um, yes. what what uh, mm -hmm. purposes we are. In. What kind of things we have to do? Maybe? What kind of things we have to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they all have literally their own language and they don't really understand each other very well. <laughs> Even though they've been living together for a very long time, it's still hard to communicate with them. With each other. Thank you for sharing. Uh, because they don't want to listen want. or to follow the other part. It's very egoistic, isn't it? It's, it's they all are, in a way, because they all think they are right. <laughs> And yeah, if a person thinks they're right, they're not going to do something else. <laughs> <coughs> the only thing they might try to do is to convince others that they are right, and they're the only ones who are right. <laughs> or they're more right than the others, or things like this. And in the yogic side of the things, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, what uh, human beings are, this, uh, this, this is ego. Mm -hmm. So, so I didn't know that this ego is uh, also with the angels or with this... Uh, yes, it's, it already it existed is. in these higher worlds and especially the, the Arimanic and Lucifer cosmos, they are they are more troubled by ego than the other two. Yeah. Because, yeah, in both of them there is a quite strong identification with illusion and the temporary structures. So for people in this cosmos, it is in a way uh, they consider it almost a necessary. Like they they use it as a tool to identify, to focus themselves. They don't see it as something negative or an obstruction or something to get rid of. Well, in other cosmoses they do. So they have a very different relationship with uh, with ego. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I found it very interesting because I also very much knew it and uh, <laughs> it felt quite familiar, but also it was the feeling like I used to be more in that cosmos time ago and now it's not that much anymore. But I also felt this, um, it, made, it made me a little bit frightened. Like it, it was frightening to, to have this, uh, yeah, kind of power and you I really could feel like ah oh, yeah it's really easy to switch in this uh, negative way of it it was like ha 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 you know <laughs> it's not like <laughs> it's, it's, yeah 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 yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I, yeah it was uh, mm -hmm. interesting yeah mm -hmm. so uh, yeah <laughs> thank you well, firstly is it try to impress like you betrayed us, you have to stay with us. You told it you will stay with us, you have to stay with us. Like, what? No, don't ask why, just do that. Like, why? <laughs> Share up. Oh. So you and they have a past. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, not friendly divorce. <laughs> It, it, it's often um, a, a little bit similar to uh, uh, to protection rackets. Like, uh, for instance, there's this uh, the mafia, and there's this Don, <laughs> who is like, okay, uh, nice business you have here. I will make sh I will take care of you. Yeah, they do take care of you. Nobody, nobody robs you, and nobody does things to you, but yeah, you 
you have to give them all your money, all your power, all your individuality, all your freedom in exchange for this, uh, this safety, this protection, this guidance. So in a way, yeah, they, you trade in a way a lot of your, your own power, your own responsibility for safety, for uh, you trust in somebody else's power rather than your own. So the person could say, well, I can protect my own store, I have a club here, or I can take some karate lessons buy a gun, but well, he's, he's big, he's organized, he's got 200 people working for him, everybody does it, so let's just go with the system. This is often the, <laughs> a little bit the, the trick of, the, uh, of this cosmos. And it's very much also the um, desire for a savior. So you find it very strongly within, uh, within Christianity and also within Judaism, and to a lesser degree also within Islam that there will be a messiah or a green prophet or somebody else, there will be uh, a day of judgment or um, somehow some greater power will come to make everything all right and all we have to do is to surrender to, to him, to the Maitreya or whoever is going to be this great hero, this great savior. And usually the great savior is basically Arima who is the ultimate power and who is the ultimate uh, divinity within this Arimanic cosmos. So, and he's often identified as, in a way, the, the, uh, the antichrist or the anti-god, because he's in a way the same as God. He has also lots of knowledge, understanding, power, wisdom, healing abilities, can perform many miracles. Um, and it is very hard to distinguish one from the other. But, yeah, so it's, it's very tricky. Many people don't know they're, they're following Ariman. But usually if the fear becomes too strong and your confidence is low, then people very quickly go into Arimanic cosmos. Mm. Yeah, it looks like uh, they press the, they're pressing on fears and uh, yeah. some... Like, oh, you have to do that or we will come to kill your family and blah. This is more the dark side of that cosmos, but yes, it always exists. But the good side is more of a caretaking side. But also, yeah, in a way, your individuality has to fit in, into the system, because the system is more important than the individual. So, in a way, if you look at National Socialism, it is about the state. And also in America, this is very strong. It's about the United States, and every person has to serve the state and give to the state what they can. And the state will take care of you. <laughs> so instead of you having personal responsibility for your life, this responsibility is uh, basically taken or absorbed by a higher power who will then control your life. And also in the Netherlands, this is a very strong power, a very strong force. Uh, but you can mm -hmm. even find this in the Sikhism, isn't it? Probably in every religion, in every mm -hmm. structure, because mm -hmm. most structures have at least part of Arimanic impulses. Yeah. Because basically, the Arimanic impulse is basically what gives us order, which gives us structure, which gives us systems, yeah. um, for a large part. So it is the lowest vibration, the heaviest vibration, but it is also part of the cosmos and part of yeah, what everything is built from in our in our universe. Thank you for sharing. Also, uh, yeah, um, yeah. For for me, it was um, not such a pleasant experience. So I've. But from the first stroke on the on the drum, kind of like felt the lowering, and uh, it was like compressing my whole body. And um, at first, it seemed that I had kind of had trouble to find a place within the cosmos. And um, only when you mentioned, okay, focus on your body and only taking care of yourself, I could go there and. Um, I was kind of relieved when, when I could go a little up mm -hmm. and, um, and then I decompressed a little <laughs> and, yes. uh, and mm -hmm. that was feeling better and um, focusing on um, kind of uh, 
giving the light downwards and, and kind of like lifting spirits up was feeling better but then it became a burden and, and I felt my shoulders and I felt like moving and getting somehow getting rid rid of it um, yeah that, that. and there was one tiny moment when I was like like here <laughs> this uh, a short temptation to maybe I could snitch over there and have a look <laughs> or something like that but um, that was only a very very tiny second and um, yeah, yeah, it's happened you for sharing. Yeah. This is also very much in a way the, the tragedy or the sacrifice of the beings in Arimani Cosmos mm -hmm. because they're in a way the, the caretakers of the prison but to take care of the prison they have to be in the prison mm -hmm. <laughs> with all the prisoners and all the lower people <laughs> with low vibrations who have to be taught, who have to be controlled, who have to be managed and mm -hmm. you're constantly exposing yourself to heavier vibrations. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's also a, a heavy path to go into the uh, Aramanic cosmos because it's very difficult to, on the one hand, all the power, all the responsibility can really motivate you to move upward, but it can also drag you down. Yeah. So it's, it's a very tricky thing. Yes, yeah. it, I think it, mm -hmm. for, for me it felt like more like being in this, in this trap mm -hmm. form. So. For me, the experience was, um, as usual, unpleasant, but also extremely addictive. So in the beginning, yeah, you you feel just like you're 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 trapped in a system and enclosed in it, and you try to look for the place where there's least pressure, where you're most at peace. Like mm. okay, where there like the balance between your power and your responsibilities is optimal. And when you find such a place, it is so much nicer and so much better than all the other places, you're like, oh, this is the best place possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is balanced, I feel supported, I don't feel too much pressure, and oh, I can stay here for a long time and I don't want to go anywhere else. But you forget that you can yeah. go out of the system mm -hmm. yeah. and you can only see what is the best place within the system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And this is a, a trap which, uh, yeah, which occurs to many people. But also for me, I, uh, I have the tendency because I've, um, I'm inherently lazy, so I'm always looking for the place where everything is going more or less naturally. And I'll, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> I'll just sit here and look at everybody working, and if something needs to be done, I'll say something. But well, everything is going smoothly, so it's okay. <laughs> and just sit here and be relaxed, and everything is good. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, maybe we could take a very short break for yeah. being. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you first? <laughs> oh, you can.